Thanks for tuning in. Jed's here on his 2018 T120 wheelie. <laughs> Just got the tidy kit done at CycleWise, the new Triumph dealer of Vermont, which is super cool because I did their, I led their demo rides. It was a lot of fun. I want to thank you guys at CycleWise for asking me to lead your demo rides. It was so much fun. Really made my month. I really appreciate it. So, uh, just got my tidy done. My warranty work. Bike's at 31,800 miles. And I am getting ready for my big trip to uh, Tennessee. So I am going to meet up with the Jack Wagons from Amen Moto, my my nothing but love brothers. I love those guys. Uh, nothing but love for you, brothers. And we're gonna go ride rides like these. Ooh, grass. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Because Scotty has not ridden windy roads before. And he'll love it. So we'll meet up with those guys in Asheville. We're going to go take a little ride through the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, meet up to US 129 to the Dragon. And then run the Cherilola Skyway back into Teleco Plains where we will meet up with the slab and continue our trek towards Tennessee where we will meet up with the infamous Wes Fleming Chasing the Horizon podcast. And I'm going to give Wes a shout out for doing such a phenomenal job with his media. I enjoy watching it. I enjoy listening to it. And uh, yeah, I just enjoy it in general. They look mad, so I did not pull a tank wooly. I'm gonna give a shout out to Mr. Burkhart, J.E. Burkhart, the master motorcycle mechanic, XS750 triple means power man. Shout out to you, my friend. I don't know why you bought another triple, but you did. So yeah, uh, shout out to John because he was a little cranky. Need a little love. A little love, don't you? You're all set, buddy. A little love given. Uh, so I want to shout out to Special Case Customs, Steve, because he has my Bandit 1200 now. Technically, it's his Bandit 1200. And I uh, just wanted to say, enjoy it, brother. I am missing it, by the way. I am actually missing it. Because I am stuck to the ton with the T120. Stuck to the ton. So I'm just glad it's working out. You get what you pay for, I guess. And it was a cheap bike, and that was kind of the Jets Moto. It's a Jets Moto bike through and through. I'm going to give you a good deal on a machine, and that's going to get you where you need to go. Oh my god, the traffic's so bad. I'd pass, but there's like five cars ahead. So, uh, I gotta get some new rainproof gloves. Uh, I'm looking for recommendations. Anyone got any recommendations for rainproof gloves? Mine have failed. Uh, I've got the ones with the little uh, wiper on them for your visor. Um, they're like... I don't remember the brand, but it's like a snowmobile glove. They're supposed to be waterproof. Uh, the waterproofing seemed to have failed pretty recently, so uh, yeah, it needs to go. Bye bye. Bye bye. So I need new gloves. Recommendation, please. Below. Do 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 do. Man, there's so much crap on the road, and I'm not like I mean literal crap, like horse manure, like this 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 get up here. Yeah. I'll wave to them, but that's full of shit, and it, they spew it all over the place, and it makes a big mess on the ground. 
the Speed Triple. Poor Man Speed Triple project. Uh, you guys could be watching that on Instagram. I bring all my video uploads there. Uh, uploads of the updates on the project. I'm going to have one airing pretty soon or have aired. I'm not sure what's going to happen first. This bit YouTube video or my airing of the updates. But um, right now we are uh, waiting uh, just a few more components. I uh, got new chain and sprockets coming in, tires coming in. I'm doing the Dunlop Road Smart 3s, 2s, 3s, whatever the heck they are. The newest ones. And then I've got um, uh, rear disc rotor is totally trash, so I've got to replace that. And then I've also got to do uh, the brake pads for both front and rear, and I'm going to do the brake bleed on both front and rear, oil change, coolant change, uh, make sure everything is good. Uh, and then basically I have to build a custom gauge cluster, and after that's done, I should have a 900cc, 100 horsepower Triumph. Uh, to bomb around on and then eventually take to track day. So we'll see. And then I'm, you know, currently contemplating on what the next fold is. I've only got uh, two road legal bikes at the moment, which is pretty low for me, but I'm trying to build the ultimate, uh, the garage. I'm basically looking to fill the garage so that I have uh, my daily rider, my Bonneville, which honestly, probably, I'd like to not put as many miles on it. <laughs> Although I have put a lot on, I'd like to kind of cut back a little bit. So then I'm going to have, you know, my my hyper sport touring machine. I'm really looking at getting another sport touring bike uh, or a bike that I can sport tour on. That doesn't necessarily mean a motorcycle that is a technical sport tourer. And then I am looking at doing the ADV, getting, you know, some kind of ADV bike. Uh, it being a dual sport or an ADV, probably more like dual sport because there's no point in having an ADV uh, if you really want a dual sport to kind of go off road. So I'm kind of looking at that still, hemming and hawing. Uh, I've been finding myself again, so kind of like, what do I really want? So I want my 250, which is not going to go anywhere. The Tux, love it. It's mine. It's going to be here forever. And then, you know, my standard motorcycle, just every day, do what I need to do, commute, maybe tour, do whatever, Bonneville. I'll probably keep this thing until it doesn't run anymore. And then I'm going to look at getting my hyper high-speed bike that I can do touring on, uh, you know, that I can cover ground fast with it, has good range. Hayabusa! And then I'm going to look at getting the uh, some kind of enduro bike, so that'll give me four bikes total that I'll have and then you know I have my FLX my little e-assist bicycle assist bike which does its job keeps me in shape keeps me in check kind of but anyways I'm gonna start cutting my ramblings and I'm just gonna do some quick do the quick shout outs again like I said we're gonna remember John Burkhardt J.E. Burkhardt, a.k.a. Mass motorcycle Master Technician of the Speed Triple. He's not really speed because triple means power, not speed. It just means power. Like a light bulb. Like 100 watts. And then, then goes to Steve Special Case at Special Case Customs. Keep doing the great work you're doing, buddy. Making awesome, beautiful looking motorcycles. And enjoy that Bandit 1200. And then we're going to go out to the Amen Brotherhood. Scott. Scotty Amen, Doug, shout out to you fellas. I'm looking forward to seeing you in one week. One week, we I will be taking this puppy and seeing you guys. And then uh, finally to West Fleming with Chasing Horizons, making awesome media for those that are generally BMW enthusiasts. I am not one, and uh, it's just great media. If you if you ever want to look look up something good to watch or listen to. Check out uh, Chiba Moto, Ch Chiba, Moto Chiba, I think that's what it is, sorry Wes, I can't remember, and uh, check him out, he's got some great media, if you like what I like, you're going to love what they do, because they do what I do way better, and on that note, I'm going to sit here, roast in the sun, be bored, super bored, as I wait, 